did the sun go? Was just the last evening. The I took a lot, yo. The strangest feeling. Ah, your princess circle. Good morning, America. Here's your sweet Princess Ilka. Full of wisdom, I am intelligent. And what happened earlier? It's too hilarious. That's what that is. I gave her a chance to recognize the imposition. She proposed to her body as I requested about her tattoos. I gave her a moment. The first thing she did, admitting the larger one, was the terrible time she had been passing through. My proposition. Tattoos are mutilations. Tattoos is a diminishing way of self-unworth to handle, but not really, circumstances. Emotional attacks to themselves. So she continued that after that she got herself another one she said it's a broom it looked to me like a crooked broom or maybe it was one of those things like in the ancient times in the royal homes they had these very very large curtains very heavy too and you had something hanging to open and close them in German, it's called with a bomber. It's like a bowl and then some strings hanging out. It looked more like that. Didn't look at all like a broom. She said she had been doing vicar. What is that? That is wishing to gain control over something or someone else, but never over one's emotion. It's witchcraft. And then he got, she got herself another one. But the issue is, the way she smiled as I requested, her ego striving. Because, I don't know, because I looked at her? Like she's proud of it. Do you understand the absurdity? She said she got a tattoo because she had a terrible time. Looking at her tattoo, very large, the entire front arm from the elbow to the hand so she's gonna be reminded of a terrible time constantly why would anybody wish to do that to him or herself i'm not saying the chest is bad or the shoulders yet you don't have to look at it constantly if you don't look in the mirror and then she said she also got herself another tattoo to protect her from evil. As she strives every day to relinquish my authority and diminish me by not giving me my beverage or offering me food whatsoever. What wicca is that? That's wicca sicka. <laughs> sick sick. And her brains. And she wished to be protected by a tattoo. Of an evil act. Call that absurdity. Call that derailed. Not that we didn't know. They're out of their minds, the shit. Back in the days on the boulevard I lived it. We used to kick routines and the presence was fitting. It was I, the abstract. And me, the five footer. I kicks the mad style, so step off the Frankfurter. Yo, Fife, you remember that routine? That we used to make spiffy like Mr. Clean? Um, um, a tidbit. Um. A smidgen. I don't get the message, so you got to okay. run the pigeon. You're on point five. All the time, Tip. You're on point five. 
All the time, Tip. You're on point, Fife. All the time, Tip. So then grab the microphone and let your words rip. Now here's a funky introduction of how nice I am. Tell your mother, tell your father, send a telegram. I'm like an energizer because you see I last long. My crew is never ever whack because we stand strong. Now if you say my style is whack, it's where you're dead wrong. I slay that body and El Segundo, then push it along. You be a fool to reply the fight is not the man. Because you know and I know that you know who I am. A special shout out piece goes out to all my pals, you see. And a middle finger goes for all you punk MCs. Because I love it when you whack MCs despise me. They get vexed, I will next, cause none can 